how to call the emergency services, 119. Imagine for a moment that a person close to you suddenly collapsed. Would you know what to do and how best to help them? The following explanation will help you to take the appropriate actions when a person's life is in danger. If somebody is injured, suddenly falls ill, or there is a fire in the vicinity that requires immediate action, you need to call the number for the emergency services. In Japan, the same number is used for both ambulances and the fire brigade. You must call 119. Before calling, consider to yourself, are you able to speak and understand Japanese? If you are not confident in your ability, make sure to keep the phone numbers handy of a few people that can speak Japanese. Let them know that you will contact them to telephone on your behalf in an emergency. When you call 119, an operator at the fire station will answer your call. The operator will ask you, is there a fire or do you need an ambulance? If you need an ambulance, say, Next, tell the operator the address and where the ambulance is needed by giving the city, shi, town, cho, and area, cho me. You should also let the operator know of any schools, public facilities, or landmarks nearby that can help them recognize where to go. After that, you should explain what has happened. Tell the operator the person's age and sex, where they feel pain, if they are bleeding, if they are responsive, and if they are breathing. It is important to convey as much as you can about the situation. For example, if it is a car accident or an illness, and explain clearly what condition the person is in. Okazaki City has also produced a free pocket-sized booklet to help you in emergency situations to convey basic information in Japanese. It is available in various languages and can be found at the Okazaki City Hall and also the Libra International Community Center. Don't wait until the unexpected occurs. Prepare yourself and your loved ones today.